Good morning, guys. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button below. Share with your friends, guys. Share with your friends. People need to hear the word of God. So I was thinking about time today. Time. We all have time in common. And to anybody else, does it ever seem like God just does not work on our time? You know, he doesn't. And we joke about it. And sometimes we make light, you know, like I'm making light, but I'm, it's a serious thing, right? Our feelings are serious with this. It just doesn't seem like God works on our time. You know, sometimes we are believing for things for so long or we're in times of suffering for so long. And, you know, we think, are you there? You know, what are you doing? And he doesn't work on our time. And Peter talks about that in 2 Peter 3, 8. It says, but you must not forget this one thing, dear friends. I'm a dear friend. Are you a dear friend? A day is like a thousand years to the Lord and a thousand years is like a day. So it's true. God's timing isn't ours. I mean, it's different. And so we see that in the story of Joseph. So I've kind of been on Joseph, you know, I've kind of been, been studying him. And um, so we talked yesterday about how he was a slave in, in the house and the, the, the master's wife was kind of a hoe, and so he was put in prison. Well, while he was in prison, there was um, the king's cupbearer and chief baker were in prison, and they had some dreams, and Joseph interprets these dreams for him, and um, the dreams come to pass, and they were, I'm not going to get into it, you should read it, it's really good, but um, the baker ended up being killed, and the cupbearer was restored to his place. But Joseph's like, hey, don't forget me here because I'm here and it's not my fault. I'm in prison. I was sold into slavery. Don't forget me. Well, guess what? <laughs> he forgot him. He did. He got up there, you know, he got back to his position and he forgot all about Joseph. And it says in Genesis 41 verse 1, it says that two full years later, it's full. Two full years later, um, Pharaoh had some dreams and then the cupbearer's like, oh, I know somebody who interprets dreams. You know, this guy that was in prison, his stuff come to pass, but it was two years later. Think about Joseph. Think about how frustrated he probably was. He was there. It wasn't his fault. He's in prison. He may have had favor, but I'm sure he was extremely frustrated and had, you know, to really fight to remain hopeful and all of this. Maybe, maybe, you know, I don't know. You know, it would have been a bad deal. Two full years later, but Pharaoh um, ended up calling Joseph up and cleaned him up. And basically Joseph then interpreted Pharaoh's dream. And in 41 verse 38 it went well for Joseph at this point. His time had come. His time had come. And so, so Pharaoh asked his officials, can we find anyone else like this man so obviously filled with the Spirit of God? I love that. That's like you and me. We're filled with the Spirit of God. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, since God has revealed the meaning of the dreams to you, clearly no one else is as intelligent or as wise as you are. You will be in charge of my court and all my people will take orders from you. The original dream he had that he told his siblings that got him sold off was coming to pass. Only I, sitting on my throne, will have rank higher than yours. He was second in command. One day it changed. In one day, Joseph's life changed. Everything that God had promised him come to pass. But there was so many years, so many years. And so why am I telling you this story? Why does God keep laying this on my heart? What did he want me to bring? So I ask him, you know, and he just wants you to take this story. He wants me to take this story and he doesn't want us to give up. He says, don't give up. Don't get bitter. Don't get angry. Don't get offended. Don't lose heart. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. Keep your eyes on Jesus and don't give up because God's promises will come to pass, will come to pass in your life. Don't measure time and what God speaks to you off of our time. 
just hold the faith. And so that's what we're encouraged today. And that's how the Lord's encouraging me. I'm praying for you. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.